You are watching Morning Musings with Reinhard von Hennings, Chairman and Founder of Bridge House Law in Charlotte, North Carolina. What is Queen Charlotte? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. And for us living here in Charlotte, maybe the question should be more, who is Queen Charlotte? But in any case, I'm talking about the new Netflix series called Queen Charlotte. The series has taken the world in a storm. It's captivating audiences with its gripping storyline and stunning visuals. It's a show which follows the life of Princess Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz born out of Miro, Germany, has been a massive success. The show is drawing viewers from all over the globe. The show's popularity can be attributed to a number of factors, including there is an engaging plot, there is a talented cast, and there are high production values. These three things together make it a success, but maybe more, because the most intriguing factor is perhaps that the aspect of Queen Charlotte is a real life history. There was really a Queen Charlotte and this story is real. Well, maybe Hollywood, Netflix style real. Princess Charlotte was born in Miro, a small town in Mecklenburg-Strelitz in Germany in 1744. She was the daughter of Duke Charles Louis Frederick of Mecklenburg-Strelitz and Princess Elizabeth Albertine of sachse hildburghausen in 1761, she married King George III of Great Britain, and therefore she is now known as Queen Charlotte. Today, Miro is a popular tourist destination in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, visitors flocking the town to learn more about the life from Princess Charlotte. The town has been overrun by tourists as it has never been before. The town, however, has embraced its royal heritage with many businesses and attractions in the area catering to tourists interested in the history, learning more about the town, and of course, its most famous resident. Interestingly, the city of Charlotte, North Carolina, where we live here, is nicknamed the Queen City in order to honor Queen Charlotte. The city is, you may already guess it, located in Mecklenburg County, which was named after the region where Princess Charlotte was from. The success of Queen Charlotte has led to speculations about the economic impact. Where is the real economic impact? Is it in Miro? Is it here in Charlotte in North Carolina in the United States? Some have even compared the economic impact to the soap dramas of the 1980s, popularly as Dallas or Denver. Those were credited with boosting tourism and investment in the respective cities. While it remains to be seen how much of an impact Queen Charlotte has on the global economy, there is no doubt that the show already had a significant cultural impact. The popularity sparked and the popularity sparked an interest in the life of Princess Charlotte and the history of Miro. As business leaders and entrepreneurs, it is always crucial to pay attention about cultural trends and to understand what is this cultural phenomena like Queen Charlotte. Just the other day, when I was in South Africa, flying out of Cape Town, I saw a huge image exactly for the show, Queen Charlotte, in front of the airport in Cape Town. Amazing, I felt, how my hometown, Charlotte, made it up to Cape Town. There are lots of cultural understandings out, lots of popular understandings out, and it's critical to understand popular culture and to embed this into your operation. So here's some takeaways now about how you as global leader, as global business person, as a global entrepreneur can be inspired by the success of Queen Charlotte. Number one, if you're in the tourism industry, that's great. Capitalize in that boom. With its renewed interest in Miro on the one hand and the city of Charlotte on the other hand, opportunities are there. There could be theme parks, themed hotels, restaurants, souvenir shops, and you name it. Number two, let's collaborate with local businesses. So if you are doing business anywhere in the world, 
partner with a local business. Just remember a couple of musings ago when I talked about Fendi and high tea, where the local brand high tea in China as a beverage now partnering with Fendi gives both of them a win-win. There is some opportunity here to go into special limited edition merchandise, co-branded marketing, and you name it. Number three, leverage the power of storytelling. Are you telling a story? We have here a historic drama which is being put into a modern world. Entrepreneurs can learn from this, how storytelling could help your business to share a story about your products, your services. So storytelling as a memorable event would create business leads for you. Number four, stay informed about cultural trends. Keep an eye on popular culture. Where are the emerging trends? What's happening next? How can I use it in my industry? Number five, embrace the power of streaming. The whole power of streaming, the whole hype about Queen Charlotte is a streaming power. Netflix is sharing it over popular platforms. What are you doing to attack those popular platforms for your benefit? Number six, let's talk about community. Foster a sense for community. Create opportunities for the fans of Queen Charlotte to connect with one another. If you're in the social media industry, why not create local meetups? Why not create something outside of Charlotte or Miro where people can gather? I picked up the news that the rates of interest at Netflix are skyrocketing. Take your share out of that. Number seven, the show Queen Charlotte was praised for its engaging plot. Good plot, good cast, and high production values. So if you invest in high quality content, wherever you are, in whatever industry you are, it will benefit you because high quality content is being seen. Marketing materials, product design, consumer experiences, all is good. So if you incorporate one or many of those takeaways in your business, you do not need to live in Charlotte, the Queen City, or in Miro. It is a great opportunity to learn what the cultural phenomena of Queen Charlotte can do for you, how it can help you to drive your business and to be successful in a global competitive market. So Queen Charlotte is fascinating on Netflix. It's a great show which captures our hearts and minds and is viewed all over the world. It's a testament of storytelling and it has an enduring appeal of historical dramas. As we look in the future, I'm really interested to see what's next, which story, which captivating story is next. Is it a historical? Is it a science fiction? You name it. Whether you're a private citizen, an international business leader, or simply someone eager to stay on top of the latest news, this book is a great way to get caught up on the most recent developments in the worlds of international business, tax, politics, and social affairs. Go to morningmusings.com and order your copy today. Thank you for joining us today. If you would like more information about Bridge House Law, please visit our website at bridgehouse.law. Before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more up-to-date content. Bridge House Law. Business-minded. Client-focused.